Our new lesson is approximating to nearest unit. First, let's remember the strong or rich numbers, which are 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Those numbers give 1, while poor or weak numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and those number give nothing. Keep those number in your mind we will use it during our lesson. To approximate to nearest unit or whole number definitely decimal part or fraction will be exist. Thus we will study the following cases. Approximating to nearest unit with decimal numbers, approximating to nearest unit with fractions, and approximating to nearest unit with measurement units. Let's start with approximating to nearest unit with decimal numbers. Our steps will be first keeping numbers before units digit same as it is then looking at tenth digit which is directly after the decimal point if strong number increase units digit by one if weak number keep units same as it is now let's apply the steps on these exercises here the underlying numbers are our units digit okay first exercise 83.2 put numbers before units digit same as it is which is here 8 then look at tenth digit which is here 2 a weak number that will do nothing with our units thus we will keep 3 same as it is and about decimal part will be cancelled out. Next one, 74.69. Also we will keep numbers before units digit same as it is 7. Then we will look at tenth digit which is 6 strong number that will write give 1 to our units digit and 4 will become Five. And Xland, don't forget to cancel out decimal part. Next one. 302.502. Also, we will keep numbers before units, digit, same as it is, 30. Then we will look at right, tenth digit, which is here, 5. It is yes strong number that will give 1 to our units and 2 will become 3 and what about decimal part excellent will it will be cancelled out next one here 0 0.7 we don't have numbers before units digit thus we will look directly at tenth digit which is here yes strong number it's 7 will give 1 to our units and 0 will become 1 and what about decimal part yes right I can hear you cancelled out next one 0 0.21 also we don't have numbers before units digit thus we will go directly into tens digit which which is yes 2 a weak number that will do nothing with our units digit thus our result will be zero and don't forget to cancel out decimal part let's move to another case which is approximating to nearest unit with fractions case of mixed numbers here we will follow specific steps. First one, keep numbers before units digit same as it is. Second, 
Look at our fraction and ask yourself, does this fraction give one to units digit or what? To determine this, you will multiply numerator by 2. Then compare the result with denominator. If greater, give one to units digit. If not, keep units digit same as it is. And then in both cases cancel out the fraction. Let's apply on our exercises. Things will be more illustrated right now. First exercise 357 and 4 over 5. First we will keep numbers before units digit which is here 7, same as it is. So we will keep 35, same as it is. Then we will look at our fraction, which is 4 over 5. Multiply numerator by 2. It will equal 8. Compare it with our denominator, which is here 5. We will found it greater than 5. Thus, our fraction will give 1 to our unit and 7 will become, right, 8. And our fraction will be cancelled out. Let's do it again with another exa example. 8 and 1 over 4. Here we don't have numbers before units, did it? Thus, we will look directly to our fraction. And we, and we will multiply numerator by 2. It will give 2. And compare it with our denominator, which is here, 4. It's less than 4. Thus, it will do nothing with our unit's digit. And the result will be 8, same as it is. Okay. Let's move to the third case, which is approximating to nearest unit, case of measurement units. First of all, we have to remember measurement units, which are length units. One kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. One meter is equal to 10 decimeters. One decimeter is equal to 10 centimeters. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Weight units. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 gram. Money units. One pound is equal to 100 piastres. Time units. One year is equal to 12 months. One month is equal to 30 days. One day is equal to 24 hours. One hour is equal to 30 minutes. One week is equal to 7 days. And remember that converting from smaller unit to bigger one will make us divide, while converting from bigger to smaller will make us multiply. Well, when he asks you to approximate to nearest any measurement unit, it means approximating to nearest unit. In these examples, we have same units. He wants you to approximate this number with unit of meter, for example, to nearest meter, from meter to meter, same unit. When you found this case, you will go directly and approximate to nearest unit as usual. Let's apply it with the first example. 3.24. Here, we don't have numbers before units digit which is here 3 
Thus, we will look directly into, yes, 10th digit, which is here 2, a weak number that will give nothing to our units. Thus, we will keep 3 same as it is. And decimal part will be cancelled out. It's easy one. A usual steps that applied before when we need to get nearest unit. Second one. 85.1 kilogram and he wants you to approximate it to nearest kilogram same unit thus we will do the usual steps in approximating to nearest unit we will keep numbers before units digit same as it is which is here 8 then we will look at tenth digit here it's one weak number that will do nothing with our unit so we will keep units same as it is which is five and decimal part will be cancelled out don't write it point and zero okay next one 35.5 bound to nearest bound same unit so yes usual steps applied before to get nearest units we will keep numbers before units digit same as it is we will keep three same as it is then we will look at tenths digit which is here five a strong number that will give one to our units and five will become six and decimal part will be fly away cancelled out okay now what about if he asks you to approximate between two different measurement units let's see this example 324 centimeters he wants you to approximate it to nearest meters First, you have to convert it in 2 meters. 324 centimeters equal how many meters? Put 324, same as it is. Then we, we go from centimeter, centimeters, smaller unit, to meters, bigger unit. Thus, we will use divide. Then we will ask ourselves how many centimeters in one meter. It's equal 100 centimeters. So we will divide by 100. Do you remember the lesson of dividing by 10, 100, 1000? Here we go. We will put this number same as it is, which is 3. 124 and then we will count two steps why two steps because we have two zeros we will count two steps from right to left and put our decimal point then we can here apply the steps of getting nearest units because we have meters and we want it to nearest meters here we don't have numbers before units number then we will look at tenth digit it's a weak number it's two we do nothing with our units thus we will keep three same as it is and we will cancel out decimal part the final result is yes three another example with different measurement units here we have 39 months he wants you to approximate it to, uh, to approximate it to nearest years we have to conver convert first months into years how 39 months is equal how many years we will put 39 same as it is then we will look at our measurement units from months to years from smaller to bigger 
Thus we will, yes, divide. By what? One year equal how many months? Equal twelve. So we will divide by twelve. We can write this operation in a fraction form like this. Thirty-nine, the thirty-nine over twelve. And then we will convert this improper fraction into mixed number. Do you remember how? Yes. Keep denominator same as it is twelve. Then reduce thirty-nine one by one till you find number that is divisible to twelve. Thirty-eight is not divisible. Thirty-seven is not divisible. Thirty-six, yes, it's divisible. Thirty-six over twelve is equal to three. Then ask yourself, how many time I reduce 39 to get 36 it's three times thus we will put in the numerator 3 then now we can approximate to nearest years because I convert months into three years and three over 12 how Yes, this is the case of fraction. We will multiply numerator by 2. The result will be 6. Compare it with denominator. It is less than 12. Which means that our fraction will give nothing to our units. 3 will be the same. And the fraction will fly away it will cancel out the final result is 3 okay let's move to another kind of examples from school book page 43 find the following to nearest whole number remember to nearest whole number means to nearest unit letter a 75 plus 64.3 doing usual operation of addition the result will be yes 139.3 to nearest whole number keep numbers before units same as it is then look at tenth digit which is here 3 it's a weak number will do nothing with our units Thus, we will keep 9, same as it is. Letter B. 362.6 minus 29.1. After doing usual operation, the result will be 333.5. To nearest whole number, which means to nearest units, Keep numbers before units digit, which is here 3, same as it is 33. Then look at tenth digit, which is here 5, is a strong number that will give our units 1. Thus, 3 in the units place will turn it to be 4. And don't forget to cancel out the decimal part. Letter C. 53.64 plus 8.601. The result will be 62.241. To nearest whole number, keep numbers before 2 units digit, same as it is. Then look at tenth digit, which is here. 2. A weak number will do nothing with our units, so we will keep 2 same as it is. And our decimal part will be cancelled out. Last one. 104.9 minus 23.58. The result will be 81.32. To nearest whole number, we will keep numbers before units digit same as it is 
which is here, 8. Then we will look at tens digit, which is here, 3. A weak number will do nothing with our units, so we will keep one same as it is and cancel out the decimal part. Our homework, booklet page 26 and page 27, exercise 4. Thank you.